Hey y'all, welcome to Sunflower Tasha DIYs. I'm Tasha. I like to do arts, crafts, DIYs, recreation, Bible journaling, thrift, and trash flips on my channel. So I hope you guys enjoy my video today. I'm going to be doing a little bit of some Christmas DIYs for you guys today. So let's hop right in to project number one. I'm going to be using a wood round that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using some paper, some of my paper pads. So I'm going to cut off this hanger first and then I'm, I picked out this one and I'm also going to be using a stencil that says believe that I got from Tiamu and I'm going to be using some Mod Podge since my paper is pretty thick instead of using um, the glue stick. And I just do one coat. At first I was going to do a really thin coat and then I decided that I probably shouldn't do a thin coat. I probably should do a little bit thicker coat because this is pretty um, thick cardstock paper. So I want to make sure that my project lasts. So I decided that I do end up doing this a little bit thicker. Because you can see right there. It just wasn't thick enough. And then I'm going to use my fan brush and I'm just going to go ahead and thin this out all the way around the entire wood round. You guys, these are amazing um, wood rounds for only $1.25. I mean, you just can't beat it. Once I get this placed down on here, like so, I'm going to smooth it out and then I'm going to use... Uh, my iron and go ahead and iron this paper to the wood rounds like this and then um, I was thinking about using my exacto knife but I had changed my mind right as I was doing this I'm going to trim around the edges the best that I can like I said I decided I wasn't going to do that and then I'm going to grab my sander and I'm going to sand around the entire edge. Okay, now that I am done, I'm going to take this Believe stencil. I picked up a whole bunch of them. They are super, super cheap from TMU and they actually are really nice quality. I don't have, I didn't have any bleeding, maybe a tiny bit just because I went a little heavy handed, but that's my own fault. But now I'm just going to use some masking tape and I'm going to go ahead and tape down the corners of this sign and then I'm going to go ahead and tape down on the sides here that way I don't get it onto the paper. Now I'm going to be using my um, Waverly chalk paint in the color Snow White and then I'm just going to grab a um, a napkin here and, and I'm going to be using one of these um, pouncy brushes and I go over this twice so the first time I go in a circular motion and I noticed that my brush was a little bit too hard and wasn't rinsed out very good from the last time so I decided to grab a different um, um, like a pouncy brush I'm not sure what you call these brushes <laughs> Um, but they are like circular instead of like paint brushes. And then I just do a really light coat the first time. And I know you can't really tell what I'm doing, but I am doing circular motions first. And after I go ahead and do the circular motion, I'm going to come back in with a second coating. And I just pounce up and down this time. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm like I said, I'm pouncing up and down this time and making sure I go around all the edges first and then I go in through the middle. And that is done. And this is how it turns out. No bleeding. It is so, so beautiful. Now, I will say less paint is better um, on your paintbrush when doing this. Try to get all of it off as much as you can before you start pouncing and doing the circular motion. So I'm using this ribbon that I picked up from Hobby Lobby or I think it was Hobby Lobby. It's been a while, you guys. I have so much ribbon, I don't even know anymore. And then I just have these picks that I picked up from Walmart. 
And I'm just going to go ahead and trim a couple of these down. Um, I decided that I was going to stick them up here in the top and then I was going to glue down these berries. And then I was like, I felt like this still needed more at the bottom. I was going to use this burlap, but I decided on the black burlap instead. Then I'm just going to go ahead and use my hot glue gun to glue this down. And I will show you how I do that here. And of course my glue gun's always almost empty. You know how that is <laughs> right when you need it. So I'm gluing down my bow, just going to fluff that up a little bit. And then I'm going to add these little picks underneath like this. And that's it. And then I'm going to add the burlap. Now, um, I just do a little dot at first so I can get it to where I want it. And then I will lift it back and use that line as my guide that's on my paper. Just like so. Okay. And then I'm using my big bite to make a new hole in this and a hanger. And that is going to be it for my first DIY. So this is Christmas look off the hook with crafting in Mimi's world DIY craftaholic CJ DIY and rustic and lace DIY. These are some amazing crafters and you guys will have to go ahead and check out in my description box. I will have a playlist of all these crafters plus other crafters that join this collaboration on the playlist so you guys can see what everyone else has made. So let's hop right in to project number two and I'm doing double sided signs. So on the other side of this one, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be going, bleh, I can't talk. <laughs> I'm going to be using some more Mod Podge and I want to get a thick coat like so. Rub this down, do the same exact thing with the iron like so. And you guys, I believe that brown thing that I have is like a Tim Holtz. I got it from Tim Holtz a long time ago. I, I forget what it's called though. I'm so sorry. So once I got this all down, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to use um, my sander and go around the edges. Now this stencil that I got from Tiamu, it did come bent. Um, so that's unfortunate, but I do get it to work. It does bleed a little bit around the bending where it's bent. Um, but I will show you how I fix that later with my black Posca marker. Okay, so I'm going to be doing the same exact thing. I'm going to go really slow into a circular motion. And I know it looks fast, but this video is super speeded. But you want to make sure that you do a circular motion first like so. Hopefully you guys can't hear my dog that's laying right next to me. He's snoring pretty loud. <laughs> yep, and then we're going to do the same thing over the hello and everything. And then I go over it again like I did the last time with like the pouncing for a second. And now we're going to show you the little reveal here. Try to get all this off. And it turned out really good. Now I just had a little bleed on the right side down at the bottom where that buffalo plaid stuff is. I know you can hardly see it here. But what I decided to do to fix that is I'm going around all of these with my Posca pen around the entire um, buffalo gingham part. And then I also go around the Hello Winter. And I did have a little boo-boo down there in the right corner. So I decided to grab my black chalk paint and give this um, a little border with some black paint all around the edging here. Like so. Pretty simple. You guys want to try to make sure you take your time here so you don't um, mess it up and get it into the buffalo plaid part. Okay. 
And you guys, I ordered this stencil from Tiamu. It came in like a four pack, like, you know, for the seasons, like Hello Winter, Hello Summer. Um, I forget the other ones, but there was two other ones. Okay, and that's it. Now I'm going to do a little bit of touching up because the stencil has like little spots that are missing um, in the wording. And I want to make sure my whole wording is actually all connected. So I'm trying to find a really thin brush here to fill in those little spots that um, the stencil doesn't have a spot to do. I don't know how to say it, but I'm pretty sure you guys know what I mean. Like that. And I'll just fill those in. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Don't forget, you guys, to um, watch the playlist. Man, there's going to be lots of amazing crafters. And you don't want to miss what they're making. Everybody's different and unique in their own way. And I absolutely love that. You know, we can all give each other inspiration and um, bounce ideas off of each other. All right, so let's go ahead and move into project number three. I'm going to be using another wood round from the Dollar Tree and we're going to continue doing that same thing that I have been doing with the Mod Podge, you guys, in my Mod Podge bottle. I've had this thing forever and a day and it is almost empty. So, even though I'm not a huge Mod Podge fan, um, I'll probably end up getting me another one just so I have it in my stash in case I do need it for the thicker cardstock papers. Okay, so continuing to do the same thing that I've been doing throughout the video. Another stencil, except for this one, says welcome. And then I'm going to use a smaller one that says Jesus. Go ahead and tape it down like so. Except for this time, I'm going to be using my black chalk paint. But this chalk paint is not Waverly. It's by Folk Art. And I'm going to get quite a bit on my brush and dab it off and then do circular motions. And this one went pretty fast because it's not a um, huge stencil like my other one. So this one went pretty quick. Do the circular motions, go back over it with dabbing. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. My throat decides it wants to be itchy and dry all of a sudden now that I'm recording videos. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that happens to all of us, right? That's it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now we're going to do the little peel and reveal here. And then I noticed that in this stencil that there was a piece that didn't get all the way out from the cutting. And then I also noticed it again on the W, so I had to go back over it and pop that out and fix it. Um, so that was pretty, pretty easy. All right, and now we're just going to put this Jesus one on here. I wasn't sure where exactly I wanted it, um, but I ended up just going with right here. And this one goes pretty quick as well. <coughs> oh my goodness, guys, I'm so sorry. My throat just like went super dry all of a sudden. Even though I just had a big glass of water before I even started. <laughs> All right, we'll go do the little circular motion. And then I did the um, pouncing motion afterwards. And voila, here is the reveal. Now, I decided that um, I wanted to go over this with my Posca pen around the welcome and around the Jesus. But before I do that, this stencil also had those like little missing um, pieces from like the stencil. So I went ahead and filled those in. And I'm pretty sure you could probably hear my dog drinking water right now. This is real life, folks. <laughs> there is no recording studio where it's quiet. Um, but after I do the Posca pen and outline the both of the words, I'm going to use this... Um, ribbon that I picked up, I believe, from Hobby Lobby or like Walmart or Michaels, somewhere like that, maybe even Joann's. 
and I'm going to tie this off like so. You guys, I used to love working at Joann's, but um, the manager there is a perfectionist, and I literally could not work for her. Um, and I had a few customers call in because she's she wasn't very nice. Like, like I said, she was a perfectionist, so things had to be extremely perfectly. You know, when you work at Joann's, they have a bunch of fabric, and you had to fold it a certain way. And if it wasn't completely perfect, she would rip it out of your hand and, like, embarrass you. And, yeah, I just couldn't take that drama. So I do miss Joann's, but it's all good. I figured I'd give you a little uh, story about my life. <laughs> but I, re I really do miss working there. I just, like I said, I couldn't work for that lady any longer. All right, now that I got this lined up and we are off to project number four, repeating the same thing except for this is like I said double sided like I did on the last two got this all down and now I'm going to tape down some more stencils here um, this one says hope faith and forgiven um, I also ordered these from Tiamu in a pack they have a bunch of different types of stencil you guys you will have to check them out because um, they really sell them for reasonable prices. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to buy from TMU. It's China. But most of us Dollar Tree crafters, if you look on everything that's in Dollar Tree, it's all made in China. So I really don't think it's much of a difference ordering from TMU or buying from the, um, the dollar stores. Because basically it all comes from China. I'm just going to be happy crafting, and that's it. Loving Jesus, crafting, taking care of my family, that's all I need. Hope, faith, and forgiven. Now, on this one, I decided just to leave those lines that are in these in them. I didn't do it, uh, fix it, and connect it like I did all the others. And now I'm going around this entire wood round um, with like a dry brush effect from whatever's left on my paintbrush like so like this and then I decided to do the other side as well even though you already saw that video completed <laughs> I just had to edit it out and do you know do the finishing touches here and I went around the edge too so it wouldn't be like that brown looking color from the wood round. Like this. And that's pretty much it for this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and spruce up the Hope, Faith, and Forgiven. Um, right here. I was deciding what do I want to do with this. And then I was like, okay, so I still had some more of these little Walmart pieces. I cut them down like I used from the last DIY. And now I'm going to just glue them down all the way around like so. And this little um, like circular pattern around the entire wood round. And then I just felt like it still needed more after this, after I glued it down. Um, I went and grabbed some berries and I'm going to add a few berries around these as well. I just grabbed two and then I placed them both down at the ends of the little greeneries like this. And then I'm going to take my big bite here and punch us a little hole so we can hang this. And then I accidentally punched through the leaf, one of the leaves. So I cut that off and I glued another leaf up at the top of this. And then I will add a um, buffalo plaid. I believe it was the buffalo plaid. Yes. I add a buffalo plaid hanger to this. And that is going to be it for this final project. I hope you guys enjoyed my... Um, video today on my double-sided Dollar Tree signs using TMU stencils. 
I think they turned out absolutely beautiful and I loved all of them. So you'll have to let me know which one was your favorite. I want to say thank you to all the hosts and the co-hosts today for having me on this playlist. I really appreciate collaborating with all of these lovely crafters. It's a very, very great community and I am so grateful. I also like to say thank you to all of my subscribers for all that you do on my channel. Let's go ahead and jump right into the final reveal of all my wood rounds. Do you like number one, this believe sign? I like how it has Mary and Joseph in there. Hello Winter, do you like this one with the little buffalo plaid on the bottom? Welcome Jesus. I really like this. It gives me that rustic farmhouse feel. And I really love this one as well. It also gives me that farmhouse vibes. You'll have to let me know which one was your favorite today. I really loved all of them, actually. I, it's kind of hard to choose a favorite. But if I really, really had to choose a favorite, I think I would probably choose the Welcome Jesus, this one. I believe this one is my favorite one today. And this would have to be my second favorite one. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my videos today. And I just want to say thank you for watching Sunflower Tasha DIYs. You can follow me on my personal account or you can follow me on my YouTube Crafts Project account on Instagram. I want to say thank you one more time and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And thanks again to the, play, uh, the host. Bye guys.